Hi, I'm Zach with Reform Prosthetics, and I wanted to continue with Ryan's patient education series and discuss with you today um, prosthetic suspension systems. Uh, prosthetic suspension is critical uh, to the patient's success using a prosthetic device. It determines how well connected the leg feels to you, and the better the prosthetic feels connected, um, the more comfortable you'll be, the less prone you are to skin breakdown or tripping. Uh, there's two main types, actually three main types that we'll discuss today. The first type is pin lock. This is a pin locking system. This is a test socket that we're about to fit. And you can see the hole in there where the gel liner will actually mechanically lock into the socket. Here's an example of a laminated version of that with the liner connected. So the liner goes in, it snaps into the bottom with this plunger pin. And then it's really nice and easy system to manage. The advantage is, is that the patient has maximum range of motion at the knee. You can picture their knee moving back and forth, pretty much uninhibited. The disadvantage is more so the stretch or elongation that you get with walking. As the patient walks, the weight of the prosthesis and gravity can have a tendency to distract the prosthesis down and it makes it feel a little less connected. So that's a pin locking system. Um, the other system that we commonly use is suction or vacuum. And that is achieved in this case through this sleeve. Um, the sleeve sticks to the patient's limb and the socket and it traps the air. When it traps the air, it um, eliminates a lot of the movement inside of the prosthesis. And the air is removed through a number of valves. We have three here depending on the patient's uh, level of mobility and what they're trying to do, um, getting the air out of the system and how quickly we, de we determine the valve accordingly. And then lastly, we have vacuum. A vacuum in this case is achieved by um, a LimLogic electronic vacuum pump. There's also Harmony pumps that are mechanical. Um, this is an electronic one where you have to charge it and physically press a button. Once you press that button, the air becomes evacuated from the socket. You can see the air being pulled and the trim lines becoming more defined. The advantage of the electronic pump is that it's always man managing the air pressure inside of your socket, where a mechanical pump requires a force to be applied and that force that is applied draws the air with out, of the so out of the socket. Um, it all is patient preference as it relates to which one they want. So that's a couple of suspension systems. I hope that was helpful to you and we'll look forward to the next video.